From the Bowery Lighting District to Little Italy restaurants and Soho retail, Lower Manhattan is electric, colored by the glow of neon lights. But as I would soon learn, neon gas is only half of this story. It's functional, it's a light, it's living, and it's made by human hands, and I think that whether that person knows that or not, it comes across. Jeff Friedman, owner of Let There Be Neon, invited me into the workshop where I met glassbender Ed Scrippa. The glassbender will mark the area that they want to heat. It begins to soften. But of course, as soon as they're bringing it out of the fire, it's beginning to cool, which means it's beginning to harden. The hardest part, well, the hardest thing would be a like, perfectly round circle. And the smaller, the more difficult it is to make it look perfectly round. Ed says of all the letters, Q can be particularly difficult. It's got a lot of curves and tight angles. Long curves are shaped with the gas-fired ribbon burner, but the crossfire is needed for tight turns. There's maybe four or five different bends, and then you just do them in different combination, and it's a lot of practice to make things look right and make the glass strong. You'll notice he blows into the glass as it cools, which keeps the wall thickness even and makes these bends less likely to break. With a hand torch, Ed fuses glass sections together and secures the electrodes that will eventually power on this light. When neon gas is electrified, it glows bright red. It's that classic neon sign red. But argon gas is a pale blue. Add phosphorus coatings inside the tubes, and now any color is possible. With so many tubes in his shop powered by argon, I asked Jeff why not rename the place Let There Be Argon. Well, uh, we're considering it <laughs> now that you mentioned it. Right. Yeah. Whichever gas they inject into these tubes, it needs the right conditions. Low pressure, no impurities, and high voltage. When we put an electrical charge through it, the molecules get all excited, they hit against each other, and that causes light. People love it. There's a reason why they love it. They love the look of it, and it's effective. Because you walk the streets of New York, and you're passing the same sign every day and maybe one day that sign is turned off and you're gonna notice that it's turned off. You're officially, emotionally attached to it. A relationship has developed.